YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, welcome in. My name is Ali, and I hope you all stay for a while. I am so excited, you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed that cute little intro that I made. I had so much fun making it. I wanted to give you guys kind of a backstory of who they were and who they are. And basically the main character I'm playing with, which obviously you guys know who she is now. This is Jade, our wonderful Jade. And she has just moved to Oasis Springs. And as you guys can see, her mom did end up kicking her out of her home. And I wanted to give more of a backstory on it now that her mom kind of was a big celebrity in Del Sol Valley. So she kind of had it all planned out for Jade that she was going to follow into her footsteps of being kind of a big star and stuff like that. And she was kind of a trust fund baby. So once the mom kicked her out, obviously her trust fund has disappeared, but this is a property that her mom does actually own, but it's one of many properties that her mom owns. So she doesn't really like check up on her properties. She's not like, you know, like going to every property to make sure people aren't just like staying there. So that's why Jade has kind of retreated back to this property, which was a property they used to stay on a lot when they were kids and stuff like that, because Obviously, this was kind of the first property that mom had owned before moving to Del Sol Valley. And that's why Jade wanted to retreat back here. So I'm so excited. She has recently taken up kind of doing yoga to kind of calm herself, kind of calm her nerves after everything that just occurred with her mom. She's kind of like... I just need to kind of find like my inner peace. I have a baby on the way. I can't, you know, like get too worked up and stuff like that. So she's taken up yoga and I think she has really found like a fond love for it because obviously it's really calming. And one of her traits also, she is a calm person. So for her to blow up at her mom, like she did when everything kind of occurred, it was out of her character, like her characteristic. So I think she's taking up yoga to kind of find more of an inner peace and more of her calmness, which I kind of really like. But another thing you guys should know from the little backstory that I showed you, Kaden actually does not know yet about Jade being pregnant. She was not able to get kind of in contact with him yet. So he's still unaware of her being pregnant, but as you guys know, they were nothing more than kind of friends with benefits. So she doesn't know if he is going to stay in the baby's life or even her life yet. But when she moved out here, she kind of, she kind of decided she wasn't going to stay in contact with anyone she knew. She wanted kind of a fresh start for herself. So all of her friends that she even had from high school already kind of like aren't friends with anymore because her parents were the only parent as you guys should know as well jade's mom is a single mom so she raised jade by herself she didn't have a father like growing up and when it kind of hit college time her mom was like no like you're fine you can just stay home you don't need to go to college you have everything kind of like planned out for yourself already so jade is around her 20s and so is kaden so her mom just kind of disapproved of kaden it wasn't the fact that she was pregnant but just kind of disapproved of her sneaking around and obviously just like getting pregnant when it wasn't kind of the right person quote unquote that she kind of planned that she would marry, you know, someone famous and stuff like that since her mom is kind of a big deal in Del Sol Valley because she is a celebrity. So she kind of figured she would take after her footsteps in being a celebrity as well. But I think that's kind of all the backstory you guys should know. But I do want her to kind of meet some new friends and stuff like that because she doesn't have any friends anymore. Like they all are kind of gone off to college, you know, starting their lives and stuff like that. And she is in her second, her first trimester still. She will be in her second in 12 hours. And she does have the best selling author. As you guys kind of saw, she was really into writing her diary and stuff like that. So I thought it would kind of be cute for her to be like kind of a author slash writer. 
and it is night on the town so i thought it'd be fun for her to go out later tonight and try to meet some people in oasis springs she hasn't been back here in ages since last time she was here was when she was a kid and i am going to give you guys just a quick little house tour so you guys can get to see the house so this is the outside of it i didn't really change up too much of the house itself this is where you first walk in i kind of added some more plants and stuff like that because i absolutely adore plants and there was not enough plants for me this is the living room situation it's very green and i kind of like it because i think a jade like the stone itself is green and then if you turn around you have the kitchen a really nice kitchen and then a little office workspace here she also has a guitar over here so if she wanted to pick up guitar lessons and like learning it she absolutely could and then over here is a little hallway and it leads to this one is her bedroom and i didn't change too much of it i just kind of decorated it a little more for my liking and her liking which is more plants um then she has a really long mirror over here that she can look at and i added an alarm clock a little light up thing and then some more plants and then she has a walk-in closet kind of thing i don't think you actually can walk in it but little closet and then another huge mirror obviously and i like think this is kind of like where her mom would have stayed when they were growing up so this is now her room but it was previously her mom's room and then if we go over here right across this is the bathroom it's a cute little small bathroom nothing too like spectacular i really like the decorations I am also just noticing there is no sink, so I will have to add a sink in. And then over here is already a little kid's room. Obviously, with the new update, uh, we'll be getting a lot of new stuff and new items, which I'm so excited for. So this room will be changing for when the baby comes and we have that update. So with like the cribs and stuff like that. So this will be the kid's room, though. And this is where kind of I imagine jade kind of grew up in so i think that's kind of cute that like her kids will get to grow up in it as well but i think that is all the house we have to show it's a cute little house not too big but she will be paying the bills for this house so we do need to start earning some money she has a little bit of savings but not too much i think she probably has enough for like a few bills but like grocery wise and food wise not too much money but I do think just to start her off I am gonna start writing she can just do some practice writing and we can see if she kind of likes it she always like kind of fiddled in writing with diaries but she isn't sure if she'll like actually writing like books and stuff like that oh why is she sad oh mood swing from pregnancy the slightest thing the slightest little things are making Jade want to cry. Hormones are all out of whack, probably. Oh, that, like, is so cute and so sad. She's probably also just so sad of how, like, everything got left back at home. So I, I completely understand why she's feeling so upset. Oh my gosh, the day just got away from me she just stopped writing it's almost 10 p.m and i did say i want her to kind of go out into town so i am gonna have her travel okay so i took her to like a little nightclub it is night on the town so i want her to have some fun oh, with the mixologist obviously we aren't going to be drinking oh olivia i think that's how you say it why don't we do a little like respectful introduction oh she's already chatting with dustin okay can we chat with him yeah let's do a little friendly introduction oh, olivia is kind of cute she looks really nice and she is a young adult so maybe this could be one of our first friends i would love that why don't we get to know olivia as well i don't I think it's pronounced Olivia, but it's with an A, so I'm not like a hundred percent sure. Oh my god, there's another Jade here. Jade Rosa. I want to be friends with Jade Rosa. Oh. Okay, Olivia and her didn't get 
along too well with first impressions um i don't know if they'll be friends oh my god it's like a club gathering right now so everyone is like having a little symbol oh my gosh why does everyone find her annoying we are not annoying why can't you guys just like like us okay she has the bladder of a pregnant woman so obviously she has to use the bathroom already so we're gonna find a little bathroom for her over here okay she's gonna go use the toilet so she doesn't like embarrass herself the first night first night out and the mixologist isn't even up here like oh she's still chatting she's chatting away you guys Okay, I love that you're chatting, but can we not pee our pants? <laughs> Let's just use the toilet, Jade. It's 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 right there. Oh my gosh, she won't use the toilet. She's like enjoying chatting with everyone way too much. I think she's getting along with actual Jade, like Jade Rosa. Oh my gosh, she's sharing her little like ultrasound scan with her. Oh my gosh, you guys. I mean, it's a little weird to just show kind of a person you just met, but I think that's pretty cute that you did that. And you'll boost about your family. She is a very family oriented girl. So, you know, she's like so ecstatic that she is expecting you guys. She will like not use this toilet. Can we please use the bathroom? Okay, she finally used the bathroom, but she is back down here. I don't know why no one is going in. Like, it's it's a karaoke place. Y'all could, like, a song must be on. Okay, someone turn the music on. Let's listen to, like, electronica. I don't know. And we're not doing anything with fame. She's trying to stay out of that little spotlight. I don't know if I ever told you mention. Oh, can no one get in? Oh my gosh. How did she get upstairs to the bathroom? There's no door. Okay, why don't you guys like, why don't you go dance? Like, live it up, Jade. You only will be young once. <laughs> Look at our cutie. Oh my gosh. More people are joining her to dance. Oh, this is cute. Oh, she's like, I'm I'm done dancing. I'm, I've had enough of it. <laughs> that scared me so bad. Oh my gosh. Global superstar. Oh my gosh. Why are there so many famous people here? Even the freaking vampire is a B-lister. Oh, she went to introduce herself to this guy. Okay. Let's do a little friendly introduction. Uh, a Akahi Aki. I'm not too sure how to pronounce his name. Received as basic looking, nature maniac, and responsible. Okay. But she is honestly just looking for some some friends. She'll brighten his day, get to know him a bit. Kinda give the spiel about, you know, being new. Oh my gosh, night on the town was awful. And it's two in the morning. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, we are definitely heading home. It's definitely way too late for her to still be out. I think she met a good amount of people tonight. I don't know if she got along with too many of them, but she definitely met a good amount of people, so that's good. And I think she's just like trying to figure her way out, obviously, in this new little environment. Okay, we are back home. She didn't get any food, so she is pretty hungry. So I am just going to have her, um, we even have leftovers. We have a little sack lunch. Okay, unpack it and we'll eat that really quickly since it is pretty late already. Oh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh. She's like, it's really nice out. I mean, it's 3 a.m., but I'll sit outside and enjoy this wonderful weather. And she's like thinking of her child, guys so cute oh my gosh i'm so excited for this update and new pack if anyone else is excited let me know in the comments down below because like i'm ecstatic at this point okay she just finished up her little lunch pack lunch so we're gonna head to sleep and i will see you guys in the morning when she wakes up 
Oh my gosh. Okay. Jade is now in her second trimester officially. So she does actually have to wake up early to go to this little doctor appointment. Oh, and she's so stinky, you guys. Oh my gosh. That is... I don't know if you guys could tell, but I did put her in more like like proper outfits when she would see her mom and this is one of the outfits that is like for her mom and obviously she does not need a dress like that anymore she's more of a like laid-back carefree girly <laughs> so yeah i did try to have like specific outfits for when she saw kaden which is more herself and when she would see her mom it would kind of be like the outfits her mom would pick out and like approve basically that she could wear would Jade like to know the gender of her baby? I kind of want to know the gender, but I think we could also find out the gender at an ultrasound appointment, which I think I might be taking to her after, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm going to hit yes, but I, I don't know. I'm contemplating really hard right now, you guys. I want, like, I want it to be at the ultrasound scan because I think we can find out there. I'm going to hit no. I'm gonna hit no for now she's gonna come back that was like kind of like the pre-appointment oh obgyn oh my gosh that took away so much money but baby is progressing well jade must be doing something right okay but i am gonna have her come back she's gonna shower because she's so stinky you guys or babe because we don't actually have a shower but she's gonna take a quick bath you know get actually ready because she was like my doctor appointment was too early for me i was not mentally ready for that so she's gonna go to babe and then we'll go back out to the ultrasound appointment she's literally leaving a trail of like a stinky smell that's so gross oh my gosh and her baby bump is getting bigger you guys oh i'm so obsessed oh my gosh she does have a want to ask Caden to be her boyfriend but as you guys kind of told could tell from the intro is that they were kind of just friends with benefits but I don't think it was always like two-sided agreement with each other I think he kind of said like oh we're just friends with benefits but obviously I think Jade kind of like fell for him like someone always kind of does with friends with benefits I feel like so does want to ask him to be his her boyfriend but we still haven't heard from Caden so we definitely we don't know if we're ever going to hear from him he kind of just like up and like I guess so we'll see okay she just finished her bath I'm gonna let her get a little quick meal oh my gosh it's going so quick she's gonna eat her quick meal and of course she's eating outside that's so cute and then once she finishes up, I'm going to call, she's going to call the obstetrician. And we should be able to go get our ultrasound done since we are in the second trimester. We're supposed to get one every trimester. Okay, so we're going to go. And I'm going to say like before she kind of messaged Kaden and was like, hey, like I'm just checking in on you. I haven't heard from you, but I am going to get my ultrasound done. Oh, maybe not. But I am going, she'll message Caden and kind of be like, hey, like, I still haven't heard from you. Please, like, call me or text me back so I know you're still alive or something. But I have something really big to tell you. But she is going to go solo. Okay. Oh, this is the doctor from our last uh, ultrasound appointment. I actually kind of want her to say hi him since i kind of want to stick with at least one or two doctors so maybe also michael will be our other doctor that we stick with so we'll do a friendly introduction as well but she's like hey like i'm just here for the second appointment um just getting my my appointments done and checking on my well-being of my baby so why is there just a plum bite that is rare sitting here what the heck just gonna i'm just gonna take that thank you very much okay but we are going to get our little ultrasound done and we still have the sheen we'll get him to do it as well and i am going to turn that ultrasound preference on okay ultrasound preference would you like to find out the gender of your baby yes and then we will start our ultrasound scan and we'll get the same doctor from 
our last little ultrasound, which I think is going to be nice to have like consistent doctors to make it kind of more realistic. Also, I am obsessed with this ultrasound stuff. Like this was a part of the update in childbirth mod, I believe it is. And it's so cute. Oh, and she was in a, like a dress, so she got changed into more like different clothing, obviously. But look, you can even see that like he points to like the head and congratulations, you're pregnant based on the ultrasound scan. It looks like you're expecting a one healthy baby. Everything looks good so far, but we'll continue to monitor your pregnancy and the baby's development to make sure everything stays on track. This is an exciting time and we're here to support you every step of the way. Okay. What what's the gender? Just I just want to know the gender so bad, you guys. The ultrasound scan shows that you're expecting a healthy baby girl. Oh my gosh. We're having a baby girl, you guys. Oh my gosh, I'm so heckin' excited. Oh, when she's experiencing pretty bad back pain from the baby. But I think everything is pretty much looking good at her ultrasound scan. She obviously is going to say thank you. We can share the big news. I mean, he kind of already knows the big news. But we'll say thank you for doing... Oh my gosh, why are you stuck in this machine? Ma'am, you cannot get out of this machine. Oh, when we get like, oh my gosh, this is so cute. We get an updated ultrasound scan for each appointment. So this was our first one. I'm not going to add a baby name yet, but this will be first trimester. And then this one is our second trimester. Oh my gosh. So we get kind of like updated ones and we can like kind of see each trimester and as you guys can kind of see from the image that you can actually see the little baby more so i think that's really cute but she's thanking him for you know taking care of us making sure that our baby is staying healthy and we are gonna head back home now so we can get stuff done this the earlier appointment did kind of eat away a lot of our money so we definitely need to start trying to get some money okay oh why are there just strangers at my home Ex oh there's an elder Wait, introduce yourself actually why are there just strangers at my house oh my god johnny and there's fruit cake everyone hates fruit cake but she did want to introduce herself to this elder, Camille, because, oh, pretentious, her grandma recently did pass away, so she kind of wanted to introduce herself. She has, like, a little soft spot for elders, I feel like. So she's going to talk. She's going to say, you know, like, I'm new here. I just got back from a little ultrasound appointment for my baby. We're in the second trimester. You know the normal family thing to do when you like are expecting or pregnant thing to like kind of like talk about all the baby stuff oh and she's inviting her to feel her tummy and we'll comment on the beautiful day you know be like it's so nice out like i wish like i had more people that i knew here to like do stuff with on this beautiful day oh no honey you don't want i don't think you want a piece of this cake Put it over there if you if you really want it okay she really wants fruit cake you guys i'm not gonna stop her we'll see if she actually likes fruit cake why are there just randos showing up at our home like i don't understand oh she's like oh i need food i'm so hungry okay try it try fruit cake let us know how you like oh my gosh she's so cute going outside to eat every time you do need to clean up after yourself after you're done eating, though. Like, you don't have a maid here to just clean up for you. Oh, nope. She was not a fan of fruitcake. Okay, and she has the pregnancy bladder, obviously. So she's going to use the toilet. Oh, and Camille is just... He's just swimming in our pool. The pool we haven't even started swimming in ourselves, but... That's, that's fine. I am going to toss out this fruitcake because... I don't think anyone is going to be eating it. Oh, it was the welcome wagon. They all just showed up way too early. Like, my gosh, her mom is here. Why does it say neighbor? Y'all. 
why does it say neighbor? Did her mom seriously sell her Dalsil Valley house and move over here? Um, a little interesting, you guys. That's a little, that's a little suspicious, if I do say so myself. I think she's going to be like, oh crap, like my mom's here and end this welcome wagon. Oh my gosh, her mom like seriously just vanished before I hit ending that. That is so weird, you guys. No, stop. Oh my gosh, you guys. The elder she was having a little soft spot for. Oh my gosh, stop. What? Oh my gosh, Jade. What the heck? She has the worst luck ever. Oh my gosh. She was like having such a soft spot for Camille. She was like, she's so cute. Like she reminds me of my grandma. And she literally just passed away in her home. What the heck, you guys? Yeah, she's like, oh no, this is too soon to relive someone passing. Oh, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, she's gonna have to report the death. Oh no. I was gonna say, maybe we could go out, you know, meet some more people, and this happens. I I can't believe it. Okay, we have received your death report and are looking into it. A specialized medical examiner will be sent to your location. Gosh. Okay, he's here. All right, please, please just take this this uh Camille away. We don't we don't need her in our house right now. He's like, oh, hmm. Yeah, she she's she's gone. Sorry, she's 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 gone. I do this too much. I'm sick of it. <laughs> Seriously, what are these like pondering faces? Oh my gosh, she says her final like goodbye. Gosh. Oh my gosh, it's the body bag. Every sim deserves a proper funeral. Would you like to pay respects to Camille? Okay, like we just we just met her, so I'm gonna say no. Um that sounds really horrible, but I'm gonna say no to that one. Right, she's gonna practice some more writing skills. That was it's honestly so traumatizing, you guys. I was not expecting that whatsoever. Oh, she's feeling so inspired. She's also a very creative sim, so I feel like writing is something she'd really enjoy. We can do paintings on here. This is our doctor. I heard you have a secret admirer at the romance festival. Shall we go and try to find them? Wait, this is so intriguing, you guys. <laughs> okay, we're here. Who's our secret admirer? He's like so exhausted, but I want to know who our secret admirer is. Oh my gosh, she's telling him about the death she just experienced. That is a great conversation starter. Oh, there's a little like romance guru, so we'll ask her about our romantic destiny. I feel like Jade would be really into learning about like her destiny. Like, see if anything is ever gonna come back with Kaden, kind of. Also, they're being so cute in the background. Okay, but seriously, who is our like secret admirer? I wanted to know. Oh my gosh, the secret the romance guru is coming all the way towards us. Oh, she's like, oh, you have, you have great romance coming your way. I actually don't think no, she was saying that, but oh, thumbs down. Was that not? Did she not tell us something good? Your romantic destiny is bleak. Oh my god, that's a little harsh. Romantic doom from speaking with the romance guru. The romance guru has informed Jade that her. Romantic destiny is filled with challenges and hardships. I mean, she ain't wrong there, you guys. Let's ask for some wisdom. And then I want her to introduce herself to this Meredith woman over here. I was like, she's kind of looking like she's talking to herself, but the romance guru has sat down. A life without love is not one worth living. Wait, what? Are we never going to find love? I honestly have no idea what that means, you guys. Right, she's getting herself some foodies because she was very hungry. 
Looks like Jade is having a bit of trouble with those chopsticks. She should eat more... Ch she should eat more chopstick foods like ramen to develop that finger dexterity. Okay, I'm gonna end this little event. It's 9.30. She's exhausted. So I am gonna start sending her home. All right, I am going to end the episode here, you guys. So I hope that you guys did enjoy the first episode of this new series. I am having so much fun. I'm so excited for this update and pack to come out. Let me know in the comments if you guys are as well. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you guys are enjoying this little series that we're going to start. It will be a little mini series. Jade is looking like she's not having it right now, but I think it's mainly due to exhaustion. But let me know in the comments down below kind of where you want her storyline to go. It's going to be very like open and not very planned like all the challenges I do. But I hope that you guys did enjoy this. So if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to like button. Make sure to hit that like button because it really helps out my channel. And I will see you guys in my next video.